come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the movie review and talk show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for us or not these are the internet radio superstars john hallie michaela and i'm colin and tonight we watched the movie that was chosen by colin what did we watch tonight i took a, a page from the sean playbook mm-hmm. and i chose a okay. sequel let's even though we haven't we watched the original movie that's fine let's just say we can't use it to blame me for any part of this <laughs> but did you notice colin picked a sequel and no animals died in it like there's no dog or cat <laughs> every animal died in this movie. <laughs> well that's subjective. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. We look for loopholes for everybody else. For I'm, I'm just saying. You killed thousands. The owl was fine. Yeah. <laughs> the owl lived. What did we watch tonight? We watched Howling 2, Your Sister is a Werewolf. Official title. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or Not in rock some markets, werewolf. it's Howling 2, Stirba, Werewolf Bitch. Like I like that title. I'm down with that. <laughs> I mean, that's it's that is what the movie is about. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. all right, from the year uh, 1985. A good Feels year. Like it. Yep. yep, a good year. Yep, good year. Uh, directed by uh, Philippe Mora, who uh, based on the third movie, playing right after this yeah, one. Yeah, he also that, did. He also did that one. Howling Three: The Marsupials. Uh, Philippe Mora. So he um, had uh, directed a movie. Uh, with Christopher Lee in it, and it was called The Return of Captain Invincible. Okay, I'm saying it, but I'm not seeing any. Nope, no, no, I know this one. This is the musical. <laughs> this, this is the is, musical. Is this what? Harvey Keitel? Uh, Who's the way? Who's the star? George Siegel said no, somebody. It's a- a- Alan Arkin. Alan Arkin. Yeah. Wait, Arkin. Wait, what is this called? Old superhero who comes back. What? I think what I showed you called? the trailer for this. The Return of Captain Invincible. Okay, it looks why, have not, why have we not done this on the show? A song that was written by uh, 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 Richard O'Brien from the Rocky Horror Picture yeah. Show. Fuck? I know. Yeah. Now you're gonna. I know. I'm looking it up now because I'm like. What we're gonna watch the trailer? Later. Yeah, I thought I showed it to everybody. I know we I watched the, him sing. Yeah, after we watched some Christopher Lee movie, and we watched that singing part where okay. he because he's the bad guy in it. But so uh, he fully, made that. He made that. Then okay. he made. Uh, oh yeah, this is describes the genre as a pop musical. A pop musical, yeah, yeah. Oh, and quirky comedy. Is this the next yeah. fantasy. Oh. Oof, you're gonna. Oh. Yeah, well, might check be the this next out apple, later. Yeah. Uh, he did a horror movie that was called The Beast Within. Anyone? Okay. Anyone? Okay, sounds familiar. That was the movie. I remember that the poster like was like movie. nothing yeah. more terrifying than the last 10 minutes of this movie. Okay. And oh, then okay. Uh, Howling 2 and then Howling 3. Mm-hmm. So how the Howling, we have never done on this show, but no. I mean, the Howling is kind of a significant movie in the history of werewolf movies mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, because it beat an American werewolf in London to theaters by several months. That mm-hmm. was the year that American werewolf in London won the first Academy Award for makeup mm-hmm. effects, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Because I believe on that one. Rick Baker was actually going to work on The Howling, mm-hmm. and then Rob he had, but he had, well, Baker had been friends with John Landis for so long that, you know, when Landis finally got his movie off the ground, Rick Baker quit The Howling to go do it and said, Rob, you know, who was a protege, right. took over and did the werewolf effects. And so they were groundbreaking, you know? Yeah. Movies directed by Joe Dante. It's written by uh, John Sayles, and it was a minor hit for uh, New World Pictures. And so years later, right? Whoever owns the rights to these things is like, we need to do a Howling 2. Yeah, what year was the Howling? That was 1981. 81. Okay. Okay. That sounds like okay. But I mean, the thing that you remember about the Howling is that it was like, you know, it was the makeup effect. You saw a guy turn into a big full scale werewolf mm-hmm. on camera. Yeah. So I suppose that, you know, when you go into Howling 2. Wasn't that Robert Picardo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that one's always a freaky one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. full on camera transformation. Yeah. Um, and so here we have Howling Two, uh, which is one of the weirdest uh, movie sequels ever made. One of the weirdest movies ever made. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. Say. We don't even have to put mm-hmm. the sequel thing on there. It is a direct sequel to the first one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, the guy who so the Howling, the original one, was based on a novel by a guy named Gary Brandner. Yep. wrote the book The Howling. He's done three, I think, Howling 
uh, books. It said this one was based on Howling 2, the book. He apparently co-wrote the screenplay to this, even though it's not based on his book at all Are you with me okay. on this okay, yep. okay. The, the tortured <laughs> history of the howling movie series that's yeah. right because how many lived, howling movies are there, there are eight mm. wow okay Oof. i'm gonna try and name them all from memory Let's do because it. i Let's think do i it. have, do have a, okay. seen them yeah do we have a list <laughs> i'll pull up a list real okay quick. because in the vhs era the howling movies were like the witch crap was it witchcraft witch board mm-hmm. witchcraft movies Remember those ones came out like every I think I'm mm-hmm. saying witchery. Where maybe there were the witchery movies. No, that was witch- okay. Anyway, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. The Howling. Mm-hmm. Yes. Howling to your sister is a werewolf. Yes. Mm-hmm. Howling three the marsupials. Yes, you go to New Zealand and there are werewolves with pouches. I love it. I'm, I'm yeah. <laughs> Howling four the original nightmare. Yep. Is actually based on the original novel. Howling five. The Rebirth Correct. is You're the one that good. takes place in the castle, and it's like, which one of these people is the werewolf? Uh, nice. You're making me want to watch oh. all of these. <laughs> I like all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Sounding but, amazing. But where do they go from this one? Yeah. Howling 6, The Freak, <laughs> yes. is the one that takes place in a traveling carnival. Oh my, these just sound cooler and cooler. <laughs> so and Bruce great. Payne is the vampire who controls it all and enslaves the werewolf. Yes! Oh, okay. my oh, oh my god. He's a vampire? He's a vampire. Oh, all right. Uh, Howling 7 is the really odd duck one. It's called Howling New Moon Rising. It's one of those movies that we often talk about where it was shot on 35 millimeter, but edited on tape. No like high def version of it exists. It has never been released on DVD or Blu-ray and never will. (laughs) That's tough. But it was shot in a, um, it's a town and called Pioneer Town in California that was built as like a Western movie set then became like a real town. Okay. Sure. And then there's Love Howling, the, uh, yep, okay. Reborn. Reborn. Yeah, you <laughs> in 2011. Which I saw because it takes place in high school and it's like very 2011 and it's oh like my Twilight. God. I have to watch all of these. <laughs> right? God. Okay, that's, guys, next week I'm going to come back and be like, I watched them all. Here's my, th- like, I'm going to be, I'm going to be red string in this to yeah. figure out how I'm going to watch them yeah. all and study them all. I'm. Yeah, wow, then I had you no get to idea. go. Which one is uh, the worst of the yeah. Howling movies? Because uh, they're all contenders. Uh, yeah, uh, fun you know. on your journey. Yeah, but I'm I mean, sure I will not be mentally well by the end of it. So, <laughs> 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 well, I'm glad that you want to continue after seeing yes. Howling Two. Oh, uh, I'm more intrigued. There's just, there's yeah. just so yeah. many questions. Yeah. <laughs> First yeah. one. Why? Mm-hmm. Why was there a movie? Why uh, did they do it? Because they did, thought okay, there was I, money I, to I, be no, made somewhere. There is. Did did anything go wrong during the production of this movie? Um, that is noted oh, within oh, film okay. history. Okay, all right. Well, okay. I'll tell you this one. This is a good, good story. All right. So, like Colin uh, was there. All right, I got one for you. This you one, know that bat? Real. real. So <laughs> Killed three people. The movie's so low budget, right? Because <laughs> Hemdale, which I think Hemdale put out the Terminator like the year before, okay. right? But like they, you know, you can't just have one hit. Oh, you know, no, like, yeah, you can't just so they're like, live, they're on, live and die with that. You gotta, yeah. yeah. So they send uh, Philippe over to Czechoslovakia. That's where the movie was shot. Sure, it's sure. doubling as Transylvania. <laughs> and uh, he gets uh, off the plane, comes these uh, crates full of the quote unquote werewolf costumes. He opens them up and there's a bunch of ape costumes. I knew it. I fucking knew inside it. Inside there because <laughs> knew you know it. where they came from? Planet of the Apes. Yes, the TV show. <laughs> oh my god! I knew it. I saw a bunch of those guys running through the woods. I'm like, those are some ape costumes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, costumes. Put a little extra face yep. stuff on it, but yep. those are ape costumes. So <laughs> according to, well, I guess uh, Christopher Lee is in the room when Philippe Mora gets the phone call that, like, because you know, he's like, "What the fuck am I supposed to do about this?" And they're basically like, "You're the director. Figure it out." And they hung up. And so Christopher Lee is like. My dear boy, <laughs> here's what you do. You just say that you explain that in the evolution of werewolves, they go from man to a monkey stage to the wolf stage, and that covers us. And I think that was in the movie, and they cut it out because there's that the scene. Yeah. yeah. Hence the monkey behind him. <laughs> I told you that monkey was a star. <laughs> And now we know why his his stardom was cut. Yeah, because he was movie. talking about the stages of the full movie, right, you know. Yeah. But they cut the monkey business out of it. So <laughs> how literal do, monkey business out of it. How do you make a werewolf movie when you have ape suits? Well, I mean, you saw it. What they do? Hid them. 
hid them a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a so they they rely on like they cut away as fast as they possibly can. Yeah. Yeah. The guy in the monkey suit, and then and cut then, too close up of something. Yeah. yeah. Nothing With, is ever really seen. Mm -hmm. I got the impression that you know they had some latex and you know air bladder appliances to you know turn a guy's face into yeah. a, a mm -hmm. werewolf face, mm -hmm. stretch a jaw, through yeah. a mask, something like that, yeah. and some things. But did you get the impression that they had ever actually thought out a transformation no. sequence? No. No. no, 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 because the transformations are very much through like here's a hand. Yeah, here's the snout coming through, and right. then that's kind here's of one it. stage of yeah. makeup. Yeah. We're yeah. gonna cut away to a different stage yeah. of and makeup, and we get the same on loop throughout the yeah. whole movie. Right, and, we and they just to edited yeah. it in at weird times. So it's like you're in the woods and you see a monkey running at you. Then there's a close up cut to some cutaway shot in the dark of like a, a wrinkly face. Yeah, lots yeah. of wrinkles on the face. <laughs> yeah, Connote, like denotes mid stage. I guess I don't know. Yeah. It's not good, but yeah. it's very bizarre. Um, truly, lots mm -hmm. of hair growing and ungrowing. Yes. Oh, oh. oh yeah, yeah. Because that's a good one. Gross. Hair growing. Yeah. <laughs> you just pull the hair through, and that's the, why it makes gross. Rubber. Yeah, I know yeah. they're pulling it through. They play and, it in reverse. Oh. It looks like it's, it's yeah. blooming out. Um, yeah. Uh, this movie's Lee. real gross. Ugh. Real gross. We'll get it into is. it, but, but we'll I talk Harry later. Yeah. In some ways, that's why this thing has a cult following. Oh yeah. You go, absolutely. I want. I imagine werewolves and blood and nudity. You get it. Yeah. Who cares if it makes sense? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kind of care. I mean, you know, we've seen we've seen a lot of stuff down here. I yeah. kind of care still. I, I, I got room in my heart for style over substance. You know what I'm saying? When it, for something like at least it was like there on yeah. screen and real. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's no CGI or anything it's for like, that. It's like, it's like sometimes I care. Yeah. Do I care about about it now? I don't, not really. I don't know. Yeah. I can let it slide. You like as long as it moves. I mean, is it boring? I don't know. It's, it's not like, boring. No, it is not, not boring. boring. I never, never knew what was going to happen in this movie. No. No. Never. Never could have guessed anything just happened. Surprise after surprise in this <laughs> movie. Christopher like, my boy, that's potential. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what this movie I has. Know, you think of like where Christopher Lee was like in his career at this point in time, because, you know, now you think of him as, you know, Lord of the Rings or mm -hmm. Star Wars, mm -hmm. you know, or Dracula, of course, mm -hmm. you know. But and then after Dracula there's James Bond, but there was this like downturn. Mm -hmm. And to me, like the howling too yeah. is somewhere at the like the well, your career is almost over here, you know, and you're just Paying the bills. He never or, comes back, does he? He's never like resurrected in the uh, series. In the series, no, no, no. Simple no, Danning ever no. come back? Oh, that's right. Simple Danning. Simple Danning's Danning's yeah. Movie. yeah, we were talking about uh, like was she in uh, like the Shannon Tweed um, like uh, that sphere. role? Because I don't know much about Simple Danning. So I, don't I don't think she did like a lot movies. of actual like soft core stuff that it seems yeah, like Shannon Queen, uh, Shannon Tweed did. Um, Sybil Danning, the way I remember it, you like, I mean, she had done stuff. She was a model. She had done stuff. And then she did uh, Battle Beyond the Stars. Right. Right. And then she was in a bunch of B movies, like Chained Heat, you know. Um, I forgot yeah. she has that cameo in uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween. She's one of yeah. the nurses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He remembered yeah. her. Yeah. And Werewolf Women of the SS, yes. I think right. uh, yep. she's in. She was in Hercules. You remember the Luke Which one? No. The, okay. the one that we watched? Yeah. Wasn't she um, not Aphrodite? She was um, or Hera or somebody, right? Mm -hmm. She was in a temple. I forgot she's in Reform School Girls. Reform School yeah. Girls, yeah. Yes, I've okay. seen that. And uh, the first Andy Sidaris movie, Malibu Express. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. So um, Shannon Tweed comparison yeah. wasn't too far <laughs> yeah. off. No, but I mean, like I remember, like the image of her in this movie. In that, yeah. uh, whatever the hell, black and gold. Like leather, weird yeah. bodysuit. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I had never seen this movie, but I know that image for some reason. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. been around. It's very striking. Mm -hmm. So she's in it. Um, she is the titular Stirba mm -hmm. werewolf bitch. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, the queen of the werewolves. Who is right? also a sister who is a werewolf. Apparently, yeah. There's, yeah. A couple, there's a couple. They, there's more than one. They really got their mileage out of that. They didn't did. They? Yeah. They, they're, I think they're they're they like, said that like to. three times in the movie. Oh yeah, within yeah. the first like twenty times. minutes, yeah. at least yeah. three, four times. But they did. They did the thing I hate with monsters. Instead of there being two werewolves, it's there's two sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there's not one sister that's a werewolf. There's two sisters that are werewolves. Well, what's the plot of this movie? How do we? Uh, what, oh, what's you. the setup uh, of this? What? Well, Christopher <laughs> Lee is an occult, occult investigator. Oh, yeah, I like the way that the movie starts yeah. off with him mm -hmm. in space. 
<laughs> yes. reading from the book of Revelation. Yep. It truly Love does. it. I'm already sold. With a, with a skeleton that kind of shows up behind him a little yeah. bit and goes away. <laughs> and she drank odd. from the cup. And the, yeah, yeah, he gives a little uh, a little speech. I thought he was talking over a funeral or something like that, or, or a ceremony. No. He's just talking in space, mm-hmm. <laughs> like you do, <laughs> like you do. Yeah. Well, maybe um, it's, but maybe he's immortal. I see. I think probably. I think be, to be a an occult be. A, a investigator, you have to right because everything <laughs> happens over. It's like Plus, supernatural, right? You know, if his sister is the werewolf who has been around for it seems like a long time, ten thousand yeah. years. Yeah, he's basically yes. Van Helsing. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. He never gives this away at any point. No, mm-hmm. not, not even a little. Bit. Not even at the end, where no. it makes you think that maybe that was added at some future. Because it only comes from her end. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's all that, anything is done in VO. I think that opening of him reading. Do you think that was supposed to be the scene where he's like explaining to Red Brown and? Uh, Eric Stoltz that (laughs) 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 like explaining the lore because I feel like that was cut from that scene and put at the beginning yes Jamie Lee Stoltz is in this movie (laughs) what is that actress's name it's like Annie something Uh, sorry Annie to besmirch your memory (laughs) but she looks like no you know what I'm not her acting was terrible Terrible. she She wasn't good yeah not uh and she's not like appealing no like not her, no she's her not her choices and everything like, it was just very yeah, unappealing the look, all like, around like i don't want to comment on anybody's looks too much but yeah she her, her just whole look because she was wearing like a, a pink track suit at some point annie McEnroe. Yeah. Yeah. sure yeah. yeah yeah not but her look and the facial expressions she made just all of her choices it was just like not yeah. appealing yeah i mean like, well i mean who directed this movie i mean it was like there's no direction on this movie yeah. right there's no yeah. one there to help the actors it's like no. christopher ne- lee knows what he's doing yeah. right yeah but that means that poor red brown oh, poor. Is oh left okay out on uh, his... red brown wasn't even directed red brown was not going to do much <laughs> red brown movie. is I a goddamn saturday night <laughs> freak show <laughs> podcast yeah. treasure you How guys can, you, you guys can defend him that's he, fine. Dare, that's he fine. does his signature move which is my favorite of busting through a door with a gun and then like kind of plant ah! but he like plants himself down first like moves down a little bit and then before he fires yeah it goes ah and then <laughs> fires the gun and he does it in everything he did it in strike commando uh, like uh-huh. eight times it's yeah like, ah! yeah <laughs> but he has to take a breath and like settle into it first he before does. he does it it's well, like, it's he, telegra- so he telegraphs yeah. every move he's going to he make. Does. Yeah. Wise. He does. You can see the wheels turning in his head as he's <laughs> doing can. stuff. That's the best. But he is yeah. a wheels in the head type yeah. of guy. It's like, <laughs> and we love what's it. What's that hamster doing? Yeah. <laughs> we love Not Reb 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 taking a break. <laughs> well, we do love Reb Brown. Yeah. For, for the folks at home, this is their first rodeo. Who is Reb Brown? Your. <laughs> Your Hunter from the Future. Go <laughs> listen to that episode. Mm-hmm. It's a great yeah, movie. Don't buy that movie on Blu-ray. Yep, like we all did. Amazing. Amazing. And then... Um, we well, he was early. Captain America in a movie, right? In two, oh, two. two movies. movies. Okay. He played yep. Captain America, probably the first like, TV yeah. Captain yep. America guess, that we had. Guess who was the villain in Captain America 2? I hope it was Christopher Lee. It was ah! Christopher ah! Lee. Yes. I think I need to watch that. I'm interested. <laughs> yeah, Michaela's list grew so yeah. long wow, I have so after much to watch this tonight. Week. Did yeah. you know his first movie? This actually occurs to me because you Red mentioned Brown it. Christopher Lee. Uh, no, Red Brown's first movie was... Uh, oh, okay. Said that last, <laughs> said that last time where I was like, he was in. S- <laughs> we that, we fall for like, that what? every time. Every every time. time. It is. It's yeah. a great time. setup to yeah. a great delivery. And you're it like, really oh, yes. Yeah. I'm like, oh, damn you. <laughs> yeah, that's the actual. That's the title. Yeah. Yeah. That's better yeah. than a Chuck Norris joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Red Brown is in this movie, and he is playing the brother of the D Wallace character yes. from the original Howling. Mm-hmm. And those of you who have seen that movie know that it ends with her turning into a werewolf on national TV mm-hmm. and she is shot with a silver bullet. Mm-hmm. That's the end. First she turns into a teddy bear for one shot and then she turns into a werewolf. <laughs> yeah. Like a cat woman yeah. it's, or something. It, it's, yeah. she, uh, she's a who from Whoville. Yeah. Yeah. It's what she turns into for, a, a very for cute one shot. Werewolf. Very adorable werewolf. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Before she's blasted mm-hmm. off camera. <laughs> yes. And so uh, this is... Uh, we we begin at her funeral, um, right where Christopher Lee, a cult expert, has uh, shown up to mm-hmm. say amen uh, off uh, <laughs> off beat at the back of the, <laughs> that the would chapel. Ju- that would, I would a shiver would go down my bones if, if that voice from behind me went amen. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> but like half a second after everybody else, you really heard it. Right. Yeah, exactly. And they're and retconning. Then you turn around and just gone. Yep. <laughs> they're retconning this a little bit too because in this movie, her like she's just she was she was killed. You know, but nobody actually has seen her turn into a werewolf. So the big 
the, I mean, the end of the howling is like werewolves are revealed to the world. <laughs> yeah, but mm-hmm. not anymore. No. Um, no, the, everyone's memory has been wiped of this. Apparently. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna scratch that because there's a there's a tape of what happened, but that has been <laughs> it disappeared been from seen. the from yeah. the, the TV station where she worked. But thank God, a reporter from the station uh, who worked with her is also at the funeral. This yep. is. Uh, what was her name? Anna, Annie, whatever her name was. Yeah, what was not her character? It. Well, okay, her also character in the right. Mm-hmm. Well, we can't go around. Okay, we'll just call her Annie. Annie, 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 Annie McEnroe was, Annie the, McEnroe. was the actress's oh. name. Yeah, okay, what yeah. was her name in the movie? Uh, um, did I say it? Yep. Je- they Jenny? did. Jenny. Jenny. Yep. Jenny. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it kind of works with Red Brown. Yeah. Like Jenny, I love you. I love you, Reb. So, Robert, a cult expert, Christopher Lee, shows up to say your sister was a werewolf <laughs> and uh he's going to uh there's there's werewolves actually in los angeles uh all around mm-hmm. us all around they us. go to a club he infiltrates mm-hmm. the club undercover oh my god undercover is being generous <laughs> he is out of cover he is i, I so conspicuous I, he yeah. is yeah i don't know how he can not be more present over the cover. Like, he, he's got a brown leather jacket, a bright orange shirt, and he puts on a pair of sunglasses to try and fit in with the kids. And you can tell, like, this leather jacket's in pristine condition, so this is like, but this is like my edgy streetwear to blend it in with the kids. Yeah. Is he a only sensible leather it jacket. It was like, like an orange polo. Yeah. It was. Like, tucked but into his pants, too. Yeah. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, we will post the screen cap of this, but the sunglasses. It's, it's like a visor. It's cherry. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like, beautiful. Uh, yeah. It's like the wraparound sunglasses. Yeah. It's like yeah. Cyclops' visor. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Forge or something Absolutely like beautiful. Because this is the great. 80s and the new wave, the 80s new wave is well underway. Mm-hmm. And that's why we get a performance by some made up band called Babel. Yep. Mm-hmm. We looked them up in the end credits. This is significant because we're going to hear a song mm-hmm. that we are going to hear the entire way through the movie, mm-hmm. not unlike uh, Night Train to Terror, right. which also which ties is- into this movie because Ferdy Main, who played God in Night Train to Terror, is a werewolf. Love it. Everybody in this movie's got something. Yep. Everybody <laughs> but you. Do we have the lyrics in this one? By uh, the I was too distracted by the visuals. Yeah. Something, something, something. Yeah, we may not remember all of it. It's not a bad song. Like yeah. I liked it. Mm-hmm. It sounds like movie. Bauhaus. It's got a good beat. Like Bella yeah, Lugosi's does. Dead mm-hmm. or something like that. So it's got that kind of yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. And we get the full concert performance. Oh. I have trivia about the the oh. concert. Okay, so this right. movie was uh, partially filmed in California and mm-hmm. partially filmed in Czechoslovakia. Now sure. the Czech Republic. It was a Soviet uh, communist at the time, and so the scene that was filmed in the um, the club, right? Uh, a, a, a KGB general shows up outside to find out what the hell they're doing and philippi mora has to go out and explain you know that we're making a movie mm-hmm. about werewolves the general laughs He's and like, says Look, okay see? you see the giant werewolf yeah yeah the giant neon werewolf next to the sign i yeah. like the slammer Blah. club yeah. yeah because apparently it is illegal for young people to gather uh, in Czechoslovakia, so he said that they could that, at like, all. You get, you, right, it, like in at this amount. This time, yeah. So uh, they yeah, could finish sense. in it for an hour, and then they had to leave in threes. In threes, okay. In threes, because I, I guess you can't have more than three wow. young people together. It's illegal. Jesus. Okay. All right. <laughs> wow. Oh, fascinating. Another story about this. <laughs> so I love it. So when when the, the 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 production crew arrives on the plane, Christopher Lee is uh, with with them, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, there's uh, all these military uh, people outside the plane, and Philippe Mora is like, "What? what, what what's happening? What is this about?" And Christopher Lee is like. Oh, that's for me. He says during World War II, because I think we talked about this on yeah. other Christopher Lee movies. Isn't he he a was a British uh, intelligence He's officer, British, yeah. and he had something to do with the assassination of a Nazi officer that terrorized these people. And so they're like, and apparently because he told Philippe Mora this, or Philippe, uh, the British uh, Secret Service got a hold of him. They're like, you're still under like a secrecy oath and shut up. <laughs> 
Wow. Oh, my Damn. God. God bless Christopher Lee. Mm -hmm. That yeah. man did he everything. Did everything. Apparently, when he was there, he would take, like, uh, Maura aside and, dear boy, over here, you know, this is where we found a bunch of people, like, locked in hiding He's from like, the Nazis. Oh yeah. still, like, Twelve Nazis right there. <laughs> yeah. I know. Jesus. We keep talking about, like, this guy, you know, uh, and he was a heavy metal singer. Yeah. Christopher He's, Lee, at the end of his did life, every, did He's lived every life. Like, yeah. it's crazy. Christopher Lee is the GOAT. He like, is yeah. a fucking badass, and he's related to uh, Charlemagne. I think we we determined he's a, he's a he's a knight. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dead serious performer, even when he's in uh, terrible movies like this. So, um, so the I think they 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 at the club they identify a couple of potential werewolves. Isn't there like a? It's like a little biker gang, and the, the dude in the suit who's also got the same sunglasses. The um, I forgot what is the their their new daughter, the black woman. What what is her name? I can't remember. Oh, it's mm -hmm. like um, Miriana or something. Oh, like it's that. something like Mariana. that. But so she was like that. Isn't like she kind of grabs a couple of them. Yeah, Miriana. The yeah, she promises a threesome. I think there's a, a big focus on threesomes in this movie. Um, big time. But he, too, uh, she layers. I never the, thought it was too much <laughs> of a focus on threesomes. <laughs> Lures the biker that, gang back <laughs> to, <laughs> to <laughs> and then uh, then she howls and werewolves come out of the woodwork and yeah. kill them all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Hands are bitten off. People are stabbed. Yep. Um, uh, boxes. Thing, thing, just things are thrown at people. But uh, the hand that gets bitten off is holding the knife and wiggles a little bit on the does. ground. Where Love the, that. Yeah, Love it's that. pretty great. It's not yeah. a beer can, but hey, it works. Yeah. Um, yeah, one guy gets just glass. It's supposed to be like a glass bottle broke on him, but I think they just threw pieces, pieces <laughs> of glass. Like it looks like yeah. I'm pretty sure. And then one guy behind him makes fun of him, and they throw a pipe at him. <laughs> but it's shot for like maximum comedic value. Because yeah, it comes it off is. screen. Is this movie a comedy? Not, unintentionally? Not intentionally. Yeah. But sometimes intentionally? Yeah. The end credits are cut. That, that's after comedy. seeing the movie you have going, well, okay, <laughs> right, we can right. do this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, the, yeah, the end credits. But Well, how do we get the, th so the, so it establishes that Miriam is like a, a, a major player, I guess yeah, she's, she's going like, to be. Yeah, she's like a general in this army. She's in the like werewolf. Maybe okay. one or two steps down from um, Sybil Danning's character. Mm -hmm. And I believe that Christopher Lee, in his well-appointed uh, apartment where he has all of the uh, the heads of former slain werewolves. And a monkey. And a monkey mm -hmm. uh, displayed, explains that um, there's going to be a uh, once in every 10,000 years full moon approaching. And that is the celebrating the birth of the werewolves leaders, leader, Stirba. Mm -hmm. And um, but he doesn't know where she is. No, maybe. and um, all werewolves everywhere will reveal themselves on this night, and apparently like it's going to be the apocalypse. Right? right? Like yeah. it seems obvious. I don't but know. Transylvania, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? But he has to set an elaborate, elaborate trap to find this out. I mean, grave. they got to find. They're going to yeah. find uh, Miriam or whatever her name Mariana. is, and, uh, Mariana, and they got to follow her first because it's like this is the one you saw the other night. We'll follow her, and she'll lead us to here, Transylvania. Yeah. Well, they're, they're set, they set a trap because they're going to go guard um, Red Brown's sister. Right. Yeah, he does. And make he's, sure that she doesn't come back. He's saying, "I'm going to the mausoleum." Uh, there was yeah. some a couple cuts to. Um, Red Brown's sister was supposed to be D. Wallace Stone alive in the casket. I don't get it. It was a weird cut around because we had we watched this with commercials yeah. tonight. Yeah. Um. So there was kind of a few weird cuts where she wakes up, but then we cut to commercial. We come back and is she screaming in the casket? Yeah. yeah. And then she's dead. And then and she's, she's a werewolf. Dead again. And then, she's and then they kill her. And then she's screaming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The editing. I'm it's, telling you, it's, it's for us. Something. Yeah. You know, yep. It's got like a. I mean, I suppose you know. What I was saying like a new wave. Uh, um aesthetic as far yeah. as it's punk and music mm -hmm. and all this but it also is trying to like incorporate like you know that kind of editing of like the new wave like music video editing. Wave yeah. yeah maybe yeah. where it's just intercutting and cutting back and forth in time and you're never sure of when things are yeah. because if i remember yeah. there was a threesome that was happening mm -hmm. at night presumably which was interrupted by a car ride that happened during the daytime, right? Cut back to the threesome, and you're like, Is mm -hmm. it just a threesome every night, or is it going for days at a time? 
And then oh, we I got both it, answers are disturbing. I think there was both a, are correct. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> and an on-screen title at some point informs us that the action is taking place later that afternoon. <laughs> no, it said later the next <laughs> afternoon. The next so, day. so the next yeah. day, because, but in the afternoon. Because, right, because it's so questionable and so little happens at certain points because we, they're like dancing at a festival later the next day, dancing at a festival. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's just like yeah. Wow. it's like you just shot all this yeah, on the yeah, same day. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, and uh, I think they like they watch the entire movie and they're like. Mm-hmm. We need something. I don't know what's going on. And they're just like, later the next day. Answers all questions. <laughs> so they get the location of Steerba. She Steerba. is in Transylvania. Mm-hmm. And we are all going to go. Reb Brown's going because he has seen his sister turn into a werewolf. Now he's a believer. Mm-hmm. Yep. And this evil has to be stamped out. Yeah, he was. Because he uh, Christopher Lee tried to show him the tape mm-hmm. of the yep. transformation on TV. Now, why he didn't show his like sister, look, she's human. And then she transfer transforms. No, he just shows her getting murdered as a werewolf like it doesn't right i wouldn't believe it either at yeah. that point yeah. to say okay he's like that's a fake i'm like mm-hmm. i kind of agree with him There's no proof <laughs> that this well you have annie there to sorry jenny is there right. to go, it's all true it's all true i don't know why this she is the believes. tape that disappeared after the thing and then nobody saw this kind of like that one that one anchor woman who killed herself on tv um oh yeah, oh, yeah. oh my god i forgot Jesus. about that yeah that was such a dark thing holy dark, shit. Yeah. yeah dark there's mm-hmm. been a couple of those but yeah dark mm-hmm. We all just had a flashback memory to that moment. Yep. Well, I was trying to, like, I'm trying to figure out, like, what, so this is the reporter, like, why is she tagging along? But basically, it's Mm going to be the three of them. We have to leave immediately. We have to go to Transylvania. Mm -hmm. And off they go. They don't go by plane. They go by train. Mm -hmm. Because that's how you get into the old, the dark country. Oh, yes, the dark country. As long as you land somewhere else and you can, it's Mm -hmm. all connected. You can take trains once you get there. But. They go to Transylvania, and apparently this uh, village or town, um, which is just having a festival all the time. There's a couple hiccups on the road, I think, to get there. Um, they run into a a group of... This is... I kept thinking of Resident Evil 4, and I think you're the only one who's going to yeah, recognize yep. any of the kind of the stuff. that It kind of feels like that within this. But they, they run into a, la- a lady who's been injured, like a car... Laying lady, in the road. Laying in the road. <laughs> And there's a the, bunch of people standing around right. this, the, the village folk are kind of standing around staring at her and they walk away, but then she turns into a werewolf and he finally gets to use his, um, mm-hmm. his titanium, titanium, uh, Dagger. stake, right? The, because the, this, the, for some reason, silver bullets don't work on these. The explanation in that scene of this is like, we can kill them with silver bullets, but certain people are not affected. We will use titanium. And yep. he says it like it's a major announcement. <laughs> right. Put your medals, bro. We don't need to hear this. Right. Well, and he says like they're more evolved, so they're immune to silver. Right. Sometimes but, like yeah, titanium. Okay. It's not like gold or anything. It's right. Fucking, <laughs> just those little things in this movie. There's so many little yeah, gonna They gotta forget, up it just a little we're bit. We're gonna forget so many little things that happen yeah, that because, made us laugh out loud. But it like happens like they're all little vignettes where you're like, yes. what is this? How does this connect to yeah. anything? Yep. There's yeah. a werewolf in their car immediately after leaving this scene. And I <laughs> yes. was like, I, it's like a pop up werewolf in the back yes. of the car. Broad daylight. You're like, oh. pop up video. And the, the, that werewolf causes them to like steer off the road and be like careened onto a cliff and then we just cut away and that's yeah, the yeah. end that's the end of that scene just done like did we come into that scene of the lady lying in the road kind of in the middle of it that was after Christopher Lee like fell asleep in the back it was hilarious yeah that was funny oh, I mean, not at all they were bickering over the directions and it cuts to him in the back seat just like Ugh. yeah <laughs> takes a nap then he wakes up and they arrive okay. there was a, so there was they showed that him falling asleep, then they cut away to probably the orgy or something, right? Yeah. And then came back to them driving the next day. I don't know because I think <laughs> it's switched around because it makes sense if there's a werewolf in the back seat. They almost go off the cliff, which is what looks like where the car is when they meet the old lit. The editing of this movie, mm-hmm. it's, yeah, it's rough. It's, it's, oh, it's bad. I, I have conversations yeah. I want to have with this guy. He's probably dead. I'm not going to say he is because I've learned from my mistakes. Yeah. Was it Charles you don't want to start Mr. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Ernesto. Who Ernesto. was the, we, the editor? Then we have to call out uh, okay. by yeah, name well, on this movie. I'll look him up. Yeah. I think it was yeah. a Charles Bornstein or something I like tried, that. Yeah, it's like Charles Bornstein. Not Bernstein because he's, no, he's the Bornstein. composer on the Fry, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street movies, right? To Wes Craven. Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but the whole point is that this lady is a werewolf to just to prove the... Basically, at this point, everyone's a werewolf, right? I think that's like, it. That's what they're getting at. Are we going with the entire town of festival goers? Yes. Like, this is Seems old like world yeah. festival, right? right. Oh, they yeah. have puppet theater. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
they're selling wolf pelts, which there seems is borscht fair. there yeah. somewhere. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, that's old country. Um, I'm and, sorry. This man edited Halloween. This man edited The Fog. What Angel. happened? <laughs> I don't. I somebody else must have come in. Oh, like, that's right. He edited. He assembled Halloween. I remember he said that on a commentary. Did he? Return of the Living, Living Dead Two, Critters Two, the main course, Police Story, Phantom of the Opera from '89. Oh wow, Psycho for the beginning. He's edited everything, so he apparently he's capable. Maybe he was trying something new. Oh, Maybe man. he didn't have anything to work with. I'm I maybe mean, there were possible. deadlines I'm and like guessing. the yeah. movie kept on. I mean, it, I mean, we do see a lot of repeat footage in this, so it wouldn't do. surprise me. Uh, probably he's just like. I mean, how many times we do we see that fucking nightclub when it doesn't make sense? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that song howling, you know, yeah, keeps that keeps coming around. I mean, that basically forms the score to the background yeah. of the movie. Basically, um. There's um, there's a hotel that they uh, that they go to. Yep. And that has um, just the greatest people hanging out. Truly, natives. In the hotel. We're guessing from from Czechoslovakia, just, where they're um, just like, you three should be in this movie. Oh my god, it's just guys. A weird front desk dude and two weird dudes just sitting there in the lobby. Yeah, it's uh, and they all look like brothers. Mm -hmm. It's it's a very uh, creepy Czechoslovakian Statler and Waldorf. Yes, exactly. (laughs) Drunk, more okay, more drunk than Statler and Waldorf, Uh, but just sitting there smiling and drinking on a couch, going, "Ah, yes, yeah, (laughs) yeah, yes. And everybody speaks with very thick yeah. uh, accents where I'm like, is this, are they learning this phonetically? Like, do they know what they're saying? Because right. he, right. he gives just... Reb Brown his room, which is on the sixth floor. And he's like, it doesn't look like it's big enough for six floors. He's like, it's weird, right? Yeah. yeah. It's like. Funny, right? It's funny. Ah. <laughs> and then doesn't and explain, explain it. Yeah. 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 They're uh, fantastic. They're like, uh, we're looking for a friend of ours. Have you seen any strangers in town? To a guy at a hotel. Right, like, exactly. What, uh, what does he look like? I saw all the strangers. Like, yeah. He is my like you cousin Milos. He will <laughs> show you around. <laughs> this guy. Milos is like three feet tall. <laughs> there was a lot of dwarves in this a movie. dwarves in this movie. Like mm-hmm. a lot of dwarves with a lot of like uh, prominent. Mm-hmm. Ro- mm-hmm. Oh, little, little, little pe- there were a lot of little people in this mm-hmm. movie with prominent um Roles. And truly, we did not get a uh, little person werewolf, though. And I'm. Mm. Well, we'll to- I think we sort of did. We just didn't know it yeah. for sure. Yeah, well, uh, I think we'd know it if we. Well, the we the got- kid that came in trick or treat, the yeah. kid, quote unquote, that came in trick or treated, that was also a scene that led to nothing. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think we. I think, I think that was implied it. that that was a little person werewolf. Yeah, I think so. I think we got it. Okay. Things that just don't make any damn sense. Yeah, I'm connecting a lot of dots that well, aren't there. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean that's fine. I, yeah. I think the editor was doing yeah. the same. Yeah, and exactly. I think that's the only so, thing yes. we can do. Yes. Um, Reb Brown and um, and uh, Jenny uh, retire to their room. Who are and yeah. are suddenly because uh, Reb Brown is like, oh, two rooms, please, and she's like, just one with a view. <laughs> yeah. And then suddenly they're like married for ten years. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. She's ben, like that. That's, that's instantly. It. Ben, instantly. You, you got to hold me. And like, I mean, it's right, a very like, stressful well, time. Uh, uh, is there something with right? I didn't it's know not they were her at this sister point that in the died. relationship. Right. I'm like, are you okay? Well, like, she, why? why is she like? She's a real tag along. Why is she even here? Like, to she doesn't really have any connection. Yeah. Yeah. She's writing a book. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. But. And Ugh. if you caught that he was a sheriff, I think in one line there was like, yeah, you, know, you need to go back to your sheriff work in Virginia or whatever. This dude Montana. came right. Montana. Yeah. Oh, was it? Okay. Yep. Very nice. He came right nice. out of the jungle of Strike Commando into, yeah. this movie. Right. into this movie. But they have afternoon sex in their hotel room and <laughs> the, the guy that looks like one of the gays from Seinfeld, yeah. it smells it. He yeah, smells he them does. having yeah. sex. Yeah. Yeah. So he goes, yeah. And then he goes. Ooh. Yeah, he like cheers oh. them on with his wolf he howls. Does. It's he's like one of the like the knife thrower or something in the carnival. Yeah, or so, yeah. something. Mm-hmm. All, all I saw was him just clapping along to a beat. <laughs> yeah. Like that's all he was okay. doing. The, the, watching the one. He's woman having dance. a good time. I, I he don't. Is, I, he is you enjoying are the festival. He's enjoying himself. I don't see the problem. I don't <laughs> either. But he's just. I mean, yeah. he's just smelling everybody. And yeah. Well, he's, he can smell. You know that the the, the uh, pheromones uh, going on up in the up room. in the hotel room. So then he just grabs a werewolf woman from <laughs> the crowd. <laughs> he's like, we are connected sexually. Yeah. I yeah. Feel what you feel. Why? So, don't know. Don't know. Yeah. This guy, I suppose we should say, has a um, you know relatively also major minor role, mm-hmm. right? Because he's like he's the, a big part of this movie. He's the the opposite of Miriam, Miriam, Mariana, 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 Mariana. Yeah. right? Mariana. 
because when Mariana arrives uh, on the train, mm-hmm. she uh, goes up to him and they sniff each other, which is, you know, werewolves. Mm-hmm. That's how and then they put their little best friend necklaces together. <laughs> <laughs> they each have a half. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, oh, it's you. Ha <laughs> Well, come with me. And oh, we'll I, go. I must have blinked. I, I missed oh, the yeah. whole Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We were talking <laughs> about John Wick. Yeah. When she's oh, wearing, that was like, the yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, gotcha. When she's wearing the leather that it's, like, just barely covering her nips. Yes. Yeah. They, like, put, okay. they pull out these necklaces and put them together. They're like best friend necklaces. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. They're yeah. like, aha. So she like, maybe she's the head of the Los Angeles chapter. It right? seems like it, yeah. And he like might this. be the Where are their head? offices located on Wilson? <laughs> yeah. Well, in that uh, warehouse, or not a warehouse, but whatever that bombed out, bomb shelf <laughs> sure, in yeah. Los Angeles was. Yeah. Um, and so they, so he meets her and takes uh, Miriana back to the castle. And <laughs> the castle is where this ritual mm-hmm. is taking place. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. We do get right in. Right, once we get to yeah. Transylvania, we get right into more weirdness ritual stuff. I mean, weird? I mean... That's okay. a Saturday night. Okay. 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 Yeah. Ladies Friday and gentlemen, night, you watch this right. movie, and <laughs> then you judge Colin off that comment yeah. about what is happening. So everybody's in bondage gear. Weird. Well, yeah. okay, I feel like we really skipped over something I know we don't want to talk about, but we have to talk about the threesome a little bit. Didn't well, that comes we're up. Not, yeah, we're not there yet. Because we yeah. have to resurrect yeah. uh, Oh, Stierba. that's right. Yeah. I thought you were talking about the later ceremony. No, no, okay. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. The no. first ceremony where it's just There's like, lots of ceremonies. There is, but it's just a line of people in bondage. Yes, yes. A very, like, 80s eyes wide shut situation. It really is. Yeah. Um, and we have the old lady who we yes. know is Sturba. This is yep. that whole ceremony. And they mm-hmm. pour blood on what I'm guessing is a virgin mm-hmm. yep. in a white dress. Yep. Yeah. And then she sucks her life force. Yep. Yeah. It's pretty cool. They're, they're and her great. face melts like a wax yeah. dummy. Oh, it's it's real cool. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's awesome. real cool. I didn't, it was hard because I didn't put it together with that was her transforming. I didn't either. Mm-hmm. Because it doesn't quite make sense because she is It doesn't right make there. sense, but it looks cool. But it so looks we fucking cool. Yep. Yeah. 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 Which is the editor's just like, it's lo- it looks fucking cool. It does, yeah. <laughs> and the director's like, you're right. Yep. 100%. And then she keep going. Then all of a sudden she's Sybil Danny, you know? Right. And she's like, ah, I will now preside over my uh, uh, mm-hmm. uh, people. And so. What's he, a collection of werewolves called? Um, a pack? Yeah, yeah let's go. Probably. With that. Okay. In that's Twilight, good. that's what they call them, right? Yeah. Yep. We'll go with that. A pack of wolves. Yeah. Makes sense. Her pack, yeah. yeah. So she takes her immediate pack back to. It is weird. She's like, bring, bring, uh, bring me our new daughter, yes. which is Mariana. Mm-hmm. And so this dude leads her into the royal bedchamber, mm-hmm. um, and then Michaela will take it from here. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna make me talk about it. And then they You were so adamant about we must talk about well, this. Well it's cause this is the thing people are gonna remember from this movie, right? If they've seen right. it like it is burned into <laughs> Exactly I will like never forget. I this. was saying, like, I don't think I've seen this movie. I think I've just heard about it. I would have definitely not seen this movie because I would have right? remembered yeah. it. It is the moment you'd be like, um, I have not seen this movie. So this dude and Mariana and Sybil Danning Sturba have a threesome, I but they all transform. With, I think it all starts with the dude and Mariana. Right. And yeah. then she joins. They start in. the threesome. Yep. We cut away. Yeah. For a few minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they're just they're normal. He she he like takes her top off. Yep. They're getting naked. Yep. She and then Sybil Danny is getting naked watching yep. and everything. Oh, that's what, a, that's the that's one that's the dramatic the one the one best shot. Open. one shot where <laughs> yeah. she like rips her, her boobs out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you'll you'll never forget it. And you'll yes. never forget because they'll keep reminding right. you. And we but cut at first away from at it. first it's just like normal sexy time. Yep, I'm like, yep, oh yep. well, this is a good time. We're all mm-hmm. here. But then, <laughs> when but we then. come back to them, yes, we cut away for a few minutes. It's got to be like five minutes, and we cut back to them, and we cut back to the hairiest things I've ever seen. It, it's oh. Sybil Dan, Dan, uh, Sybil Danning in like blonde fur all over yeah. her body. They're naked, but, not, but, but there's thick fur. No, it's like thin fur. Yes, yeah. so that you can see that they're naked. Yes, it's wispy. Yes. Oh, it, it, oh <laughs> why did you? That's that's it. And I don't You're right, like that but you said I hate it. it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but that's it. it is, and there's it is long wispy. There's this body scene where she drags. <laughs> there's this scene where she drags her fingernails through it, and you oh, hear it, and it's oh my oh. god. I like. And that's the sound we all made when this first came. I saw myself ah. like dry heave a little bit during this oh, stuff. But, it so was... we, we, it like cuts to her, her walking towards the bed, and then we cut to them, and they are the shade of hair that is. So we got dark, thick, black, not even thick, just the yeah. wispy and shit, but yeah. black, and then blonde. She's, but it covers their entire 
bodies. It goes into of. their ass crack too. Like you see the one guy's <laughs> ass and it is like in the it, ass crack. It, it, it's the most uncomfortable. Because like we said, it's thin. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. It's, it's just covering, like, but not covering. Yeah. It's like, oh god. It's. Mm. And the it's actors. like seeing a nipple through a dryer sheet. It's fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> and the actors, like, they can't do anything because they have like these big prosthetic fans. Exactly like that. they've got <laughs> gigantic like... talents, so they can't yeah. actually touch each other. No, because so they'll rip out. Like, yeah, they're just like growling and, and moving against, each other. <laughs> moving back and yeah, side to side. Yeah, like <laughs> writhing around. Like, like yeah, they're coming within a hair of touching yeah. someone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but it's not of... just it's miming supposed, this. It's a threesome. It's supposed to be like a sexy thing and it is the most unsexy thing I've seen yeah. in my life. It's like <laughs> rawr, 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 it, 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 it is all it, it, it's all it's all hand movements. It's Holly, all hand movements. You remember how when we watched Manhunter that sex scene you and I were like I think se- I'm off sex. <laughs> yeah. I remember, yeah. This was so much worse than that oh, scene in yeah. Manhunter. I Never. thought Manhunter put me off sex but I'm <laughs> I'm legit off it now. Yeah. <laughs> it's, wow. Man. If, Done. Yeah, you gotta yeah, uh, next time I go on a date if I see she got a straight <laughs> hair coming out of her cheek <laughs> like, I'm done. I am I'm <laughs> traumatized by things that's not your fault it's me and this the scene it it's not like it, i mean i guess it goes on forever only because we cut away from it yep. cut back to yep. it cut away from it cut back to it and they're not and it, doing anything. and we don't know like the time period is this like they all they do is yes. have a three what are we supposed to feel watching this I are we supposed know. to be disgusted are we supposed to be like that's well sexy are I we supposed the, to- well that's what i was gonna say i think the opposite of not feeling disgusted i think is wrong because uh, if you feel that this right. is sexy, <laughs> I guess what's I their intention though? Like, what is, or is it just like this is taboo? I think they're I think going that, more towards yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. They're werewolves yeah. and they're weird. Look how fucked yeah. up this is. Like, yeah, I think so. Well, they're going yeah. off of there was a werewolf sex scene, I guess, in the first movie. Right. That kind of, you know, it's like, so this is just amping that up, maybe. Oh, it's like, that's part yeah. of the howling. If you're going to do the howling, you're going to, you know. That's yep. true. Folks, yeah. Okay. Okay. This is the second movie of eight. Where did they go? I know. I can't wait. I'll report back. Where could they have gone? <laughs> you Space. said in the third movie they have pouches. Yep. Oh. And they said, do they have to see that? <laughs> yeah. How how de- how deep do they go into that? I think that? We, get, we get pregnant werewolves in that one. Oh, uh, she's I'm pregnant so the whole interested. time, and then she has a baby that pops out the pouch. Uh, yep. Fuck yeah. Okay. I can't wait. I can't wait to see. <laughs> I gotta watch it. <laughs> Marsupial so we werewolves. I'll we just get Jesus hooked Christ. on the howling. Uh, yeah, I think we did. Um, so, so we have the threesome. Yep, yeah, uh, that's all that really goes on in this castle, right? The, the, the yeah, shocking yeah. revelation that like Stefan is here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Stefan, who is he? He's my brother. And you're like, what? what? Is he also ten thousand years old? What the fuck? We haven't had any like hint of this. And you'll have that question for the rest of your life. Yep, yep, yep. Eventually, they will make their way to the castle, but before that, there's tomfoolery that takes place at the... Uh, there, Christopher Lee introduces them to, like, the vampire hunters or the werewolf hunters. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, grade. he's got a couple of... There's, His like, a priest circle. and yeah, a couple Constant, of people. There's a Constantine in there. I remember the name. At some point, I think one of the guys, who I think was a little person, was... Uh, Killed was he the one who got his eyeballs that exploded on his head? Because they have magic earplugs made of wax from from the holy candles from from the holy from the the, was it the holy yeah holy candles from the holy candles yeah we don't know why they're holy or where they came from or what ceremony they were used for but they're holy candles Mm -hmm. Uh, and they fall out of holy water holy candles same thing. I don't. All right. There you go. That's oh, that's right. Because Reb Brown and Constantine are going on a recon mission. That's when they find out that like you know Stefan is the sis the, the brother. Of Stirba, right? And they're like, we have to go back and tell Stefan. And they turn around, and that's when she's like, because she sees them out the window, right, right. and then she starts doing some kind of solo witchy panatu. <laughs> this is where she has her staff. Yeah. Oh, yes. she got a badass staff. Oh, this a describe bat, the staff, Colin. A it's a great. Staff. It's a bat staff. <laughs> it's got a like a desiccated giant bat on the. the it looks like the Fright Night bat. It does. It, it looks does like look the Fright like Night bat. bat. It's yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah. And, and I little think it, did we know how much awesome we would get out of it. Isn't she also like costume change into the crazy like heavy metal the, like, yeah. the building looking thing? Where she look? Yeah. Oh, she looks like kind of like Metropolis. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was thinking it looked more like Mortal Kombat. Yeah, and it the, can't. It like it's a bodysuit with like the thigh high boots that meet up to her hip. So it's yeah, like yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. really hard to bend she in it. Can't you know? Walk. Yeah. yeah, it's a little Robocop. It looks awesome though. It looks, it looks really cool. <laughs> it's very interesting. It's like yeah, it's like Robocop Shogun. Right. Yeah, yeah I then, love it. But then she's basically doing her version of. Do you guys remember Mars Attacks? Yeah, 
Yes. yes. Remember when they do the singing, the singing comes on and all everybody's heads explodes. Yeah. All yep. head. It's basically her version of that. Mm-hmm. Yep. And if you're not wearing your special wax mm-hmm. uh, earplugs, uh, the dwarf, the, the little person uh, uh, starts going a little crazy. Yeah. Was he attacked by a werewolf? No. That crushed his head? Mm. No. no, he is he is being affected by her okay. spell casting. It's like her siren point. song, yeah. but it like makes his eyes explode. And then later, like <laughs> Christopher Lee is uh, approached by because they abduct Jenny and they take the protective medallion, and then the, the his little eyes person spew out of his head. It. Is all I want to say. Yeah, like he in a in a fantastic way, <laughs> and I and I keep in my head they keep getting mixed up because they used all of these shots later on in that boob reveal montage yeah. at the end of the cre- this. Yeah, the credits. So Wait, it's yeah. fucking with my and head. And credits yes. is just a remix of the movie you just watched. Yeah, <laughs> it really was. Yeah. And but and, it, but every other is the boobs. Yes. And they uh so it was 17 times they repeated uh the shot of her ripping her shirt uh, mm-hmm. Sybil Danny ripping her shirt off. Yeah. And they found every reaction shot in the movie and cut it to that. It's, it's amazing. So it's, it's pretty brilliant. It's yeah. great. It's uh, the owl at one point <laughs> reacts I'm to I'm so right. glad like, we got the know. owl in there. I mean, Hooters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great call. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, it had to be done. <laughs> this is all over that howling, you know, <laughs> song, that, you know at the end credits. Oh, um, howling. So Jenny's abducted, painted with blood, hung up in the, I think that place with all the, the, the sets were cool. Yeah, pretty yeah, cool. Was cool. it a set or was that actually, like, doesn't that exist? Like the Church of Bones or something like in yeah, Prague that's, that's, or that's something like that? Thing, yeah. It looks like they shot there. I don't know if they shot the actual place. No, but or it's it a replica. It's a wall of skulls and bones and shit. Yeah. And, yeah she's hanging in there for. She's going to become one of them later on, I think. Yeah. And uh, so our heroes are separated and they have to meet up. And Constantine uh, apparently comes back as some kind of creature uh, to cost Christopher Lee because he is wearing the. Remember the. Come and get me! Ha 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 ha! Really yep. yeah. In this bizarro that's chase. Not, oh, the small guy's not Constantine. That's yeah. A, no, that's a different no, no, that's what he says. He says he's been bewitched or whatever. The Constantine, they got him with the magic, and because she like has magic powers, she shoots lasers out of her hands. Yeah, I, 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 I would just like, go with it, but I have to disagree because the little person was not with them when they were walking through the woods for that ten minutes, and he mentions Constantine a few times during that. Oh, that's the other guy then. The I other think guy. it wasn't Constantine. Yeah. Constantine was the one who uh, got the bat attack. You're right. But his other associate, the little guy, yeah. is the one that became possessed yes. and eventually. Yeah, yeah, back. yeah. After his eyes explode out of his yes. head, he does yeah. become possessed. And so yes. Reb Brown is like, okay, we're going to go and take care of this tonight. And Christopher Lee's like, yep, we're going to have our weapons. Here they are. And it's like this dagger, uh, you know, pieces of uh, whatever. The- yeah, a sacred oil. Uh, essential oils, basically, that yeah. explode. <laughs> this came from right. oils. essential oils. Screech beetles and uh, <laughs> right. holy water and from Amityville. Like Red Bill. Brown's like, do you have any more contemporary weapons? He's like, oh, yes, we do. And a dude stands up with a just a bigger knife. Right. <laughs> like, that's it. <laughs> also like, titanium. Oh, okay. And he's like, oh, we also have a gun. He's like, I'll take that. <laughs> Thanks. That's what I wanted. <laughs> yeah. How did the guy who got attacked by the 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 bat scepter? Oh, it was the pre the 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 priest who goes yeah. with them. It's the last one, right? Yeah. yeah. They walk through the woods for about half an hour, and yep. they're attacked by werewolves because she's <laughs> sitting there over a cauldron. I don't think there was one, but in no. my mind, it'd be awesome if there was a cauldron. Right, and she she's would summoning. she would look into it and see what was going yeah. on in the cauldron. This is like Beastmaster and shit. Yeah, yeah. Because like most what of Sybil Danning's doing? part is like just looking, you know, like off in the distance and waving her hand around and going like ah. <laughs> yep. You know, a lot while wearing sunglasses indoors. Love the sunglasses. <laughs> and yeah, eventually this guy, right, uh, uh, the priest, like sneaks up behind her while she's doing this summoning thing of the spells and whatever. And uh, she turns around and like somehow, didn't she? Did she whisper her bat? She, 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 to was, life or she was talking to it, like making her <laughs> hand motions into its face. And then I think once the priest starts attacking, she's like slams it down. And when she did that, we're all like, oh, is it going to happen? And it fucking happened. The bat <laughs> came to life yep. and attacked him in the best way possible, which Ow. is, well, okay, I'm not going to say the best way. I don't know if it's, it's the a best horrible way possible. Yeah. It's a horrible way possible. But because it is... It, because it is nothing more than what it was before, which was just kind of a deformed bat, like it's just rubbing on him. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it doesn't. Ah, co- it doesn't ah. seem to come off the stand really. No, right. Yeah, like, not really. Yeah. Like it's just kind of like it doesn't really bite him. It's just right. like rubbing. It. It's like a cat. But what did it shove in his mouth? But then mouth. it has a long tail. 
that a it very is phallic sho- tail. A very phallic tail that is sho- It's like a face hugger mm-hmm. that it is shoving in his mouth down his throat. He's <laughs> deeply. <laughs> yeah. But to me, it's when it pulls out. Oh, that's, that's where I get. Part. That's where I was <laughs> like, I'm part. nauseous. I'm gonna like, throw uh, up. Like, uh, oh. and they yeah. keep on the because it's like a rubber version of this guy's it head is. with animatronic, yeah. and its eyes roll. There is. Back. Oh, it's oh. so good. There's one eye that just starts Whoa. drifting back into his head, <laughs> and it's just like, oh. Yeah, so gross. <laughs> so gross. Effective. But uh, this is the assault on the castle. Now we're going to rescue Jenny. We're going to split up. We're going <laughs> to rescue Jenny we, we, every, <laughs> and take so care of Steer. The five of our people just died. We should split up. Yeah. Yeah. Go our separate ways. Oh, but that's right. Because oh, there was yeah. a. But there's the scene when she's like, go get my. Go get the girl. And so her two little lackeys, <laughs> yes. Vlad and Mariana, go to get her. And, and, and Vlad starts- is overcome with horniness. <laughs> yes. Vlad he has is a, seized. Vlad has a horny attack. <laughs> He's seized with horniness. Yeah, yeah. A horny yeah. seizure. Yeah. <laughs> He's literally. It's so good. It's a guy stumbling down a hallway, like, throwing himself against the him. walls. Yeah. He's just going. Rawr, 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 and her going, control it. Control it. And we <laughs> cut, cut away to, I think, the, the threesome. Yeah. So that's what he was oh, remembering. Yeah, yeah. Or remembering something. of it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. It's like, no, we have to go get her. You can't fuck her. We have to go get her. Yeah. <laughs> and then when he finally Ooh. gets to the room, because she's whipping him at that point. Like, <laughs> yeah. psh, psh, psh. And I'm like, I don't think that's helping. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he li- Yeah, think you're it- helping the transformation at this point. And he comes into the room. It's like he was something. And he comes in the room as like Fabio yeah. like, <laughs> version of a werewolf. Mm-hmm. He's got the good hair and mm-hmm. everything. And it's just. Oh, and then yeah, Red Brown right. busts in the door, plants it's himself. It's just so telling. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> and blows him away. <laughs> yeah. uh, so Jenny is rescued, right? And Christopher Lee has to confront Steerba. Oh. There was that scene also where they were accosted by like all the werewolves at the yeah, woods. There was and they were, had yeah. that standoff. And then, yeah. <laughs> um, but in this one. And there was that, that holy bomb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that's the essential oil. That was huge. Bomb. Yeah. That's huge. For the pop out of the ground Burned werewolf. Yeah. Oh, the yes. pop out of the ground werewolf yeah. that was telegraphed way too long. Yeah. Before <laughs> Again, the, the trapdoor werewolf or whatever. Yes. Yeah, they yeah, burrow yeah. into the ground and wait. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. <laughs> um, so Christopher Lee confronts his ancient sister, <laughs> yeah. and yeah. she's like, "You will never. You've never been able to resist me." Oh, she wants to fuck him. Right, because oh, it, it yeah. was something about Isn't like she's like we'll be wed if for all eternity. I think we'll be like, wed in hell for all eternity, or wed in fire, or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As she's wrapping him in some kind of uh, '80s special effects glow. Oh yeah, beautiful. She's got, she, yeah, she's hands. got power. She shoots from her fingers in this. Yeah. We got some like that's where the quote unquote money went for this movie. It seems like because those were pretty good. It wasn't he like he didn't say anything in that scene, no, but it's there's all, the all the voiceover of him like I must not you know uh, <laughs> kneel before you know or whatever succumb to her you know I must kill Stirba as Cut he's to being Christopher drunk. Lee's face of nothing <laughs> stoic <laughs> not being affected by anything that's going on yeah God bless the man and uh, I think when he when he has his chance he uh, does uh, actually kill. Mm-hmm. Uh, Stirba mm-hmm. with the titanium uh, stake. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's got a knife. He's got the titanium <laughs> knife. He stabs her, and they both uh, combust. Yeah, they are on. Fire. That was a surprise mm-hmm. that yeah. uh, totally. both of them go on fire, and then everything goes on fire. And then uh, mm-hmm. so Red, they burn up. Uh, yeah, and and Red uh, Brown is threatens a villager. Is running through the village with a bloody Jenny. Yep. And they get to a band playing because it's still a festival. <laughs> he points yep. a gun directly in his face. And, how do we get to the nearest airport? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Is this a comedy? I, that is I, not I, a serious scene. It can't, it can't be. It can't be. <laughs> you just run. I agree with Holly. It can't it be. Can't it can't be. be. It can't be. Um, the, all the elements make it that, especially mm-hmm. with Red Brown. I mean, you know, that's what you're going to get. Yeah. I've yet to see a movie with him in it that isn't, quote unquote, comedic. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, so that's what you get. But then we just like cut back to her apartment. Well, yeah. Then they fly off back to L.A. and we have to come back to the band playing in the club. Yep. During this time. Oh, that's right. Because it was a huge orgy. We forgot to talk huge about. Orgy. Oh, yeah, huge orgy. Big orgy. Yeah. With the band maybe there. Maybe. We're not sure. It looked like it. I, think, I, I feel like it was power, meant to be. I think, well, I I think they wanted like a, they but wanted but us to believe they, they were wanted there. to believe it, but yeah. they couldn't film it that way, so yes. they just shot yeah. around it like yeah. she invited the band up to the castle to pl- play right. during our orgy and right like, that's fine so that's what these werewolves do 
Mm-hmm. That's just, it. That's it. There was one scene where they picked up a couple of hitchhikers and threw them in the back of a van. That was all pretty trying. schnitzel. Yeah. 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 And then Again, it, he looked directly at the camera and said schnitzel. Like, yeah. that's, that's a fucking yeah, comedy. Yeah, she licks her lips. Uh, Mariana yeah. licks her lips as they throw these guys in. Yeah. And then, uh-huh. 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 Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, so apparently the fire, uh, Stirba, has gone up in flames mm-hmm. and it's all uh, uh, over. And we cut back to Los Angeles and it's Halloween. And now... Uh, Hey, honey, or whatever. There was some awful. Oh line. no, that was the that was the <laughs> when they're still in the hotel in Transylvania earlier on. Yeah, just, she's it's like a, taking a bath because yeah. there's so many weird, just random shots in this. Yeah, that's why we're remembering uh, again, them like now, minute and a half yeah. scenes. Again, yeah, this is why you have a hard time remembering this movie because nothing See, sticks nothing, to the other yeah. scene. Sense. There's no glue that kind of keeps it all together. But it's supposed to be a scary shot where she's in the tub and there's a camera just slowly making its way towards the doorway, and all it is is a a, a jump scare. Where he goes. Hi, honey. These people have known each other for a day. Yeah, and scene over. That's and that, it. And that's yeah. it. That was, yeah. that was that's the it. scene. That was yeah. it. I'm like, what was the point of that scene? I right. Think there was a, you maybe, got her in the bathtub. I think there was more of her nudity in this movie that all got cut out. Yeah, maybe. Because they had a sex scene earlier that looked like it would be pretty naked. Yeah, this scene's pretty trying, naked. There wasn't any nudity on her part. Nope. No. Even though she was naked in scenes. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. It could have been it. But it's Back like you said, apartment. Halloween. Yep. Yeah. Um, because one pumpkin is out. There's two pumpkins. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, there's one that has a candle in it. There's one, one has, has the, the candy, candy in it. In it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Which, all right, so we get uh, the doorbell ringing. She jumps on his back because, I mean, when you have Red Brown, I feel like 6'6", six, six, and just a big dude. You do that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um, rides him to the door, and who's their visitor? <laughs> it's a werewolf kid. Were- yeah. But it's it looks like a werewolf, yeah. not a kid in a mask. And they're like, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a good costume, kid. So the, have the werewolves followed them here? Right, because the kid right. is just like, from from Transylvania? Transylvania, did they have a stowaway well, with them? They did have the Los Angeles chapter, so maybe they've yep. been yeah, found yeah. They mm-hmm. all, all by the werewolves. Unless they all went to Transylvania for the ceremony to be yeah. revealed, and so they're not just at L.A. in their office job at one o'clock in the afternoon, and they're just like, Wah! But this, yeah. this, I mean, it is Sturba's ten millennium birthday. It's True. a pretty big deal. I right, think I they, think, they I think that's went. all a federal werewolf holiday. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Why is Danny off work today? <laughs> it's, it's a long story. It's the dialogue. That I was like, it's just so stupid because it's like nobody it's has so ever heard, nobody's ever heard of people talk before. It yeah. makes no fucking sense. Where'd right. that kid come from? The apartment, well, the apartment the right home. over there. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, that apartment's empty. Someone must have moved in while we were gone. Did they see the kid? Let's walk go into invite them? him over. They're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and they go over, they knock in this old like she, I, I don't know if anyone else noticed this, but she makes this weirdest fucking face I've ever seen in my life. She's like yeah. But they go to like like yeah. it's so goddamn bizarre. I don't yeah. know what is happening. Know, it's so bizarre. bizarre. She's so weird. This Bad guy weird. answers oh the door and he's like, and he's clearly a European guy. You're like yeah. clearly also a priest. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm a bachelor. I live alone. I have no children. Come back soon. like, would you like to come in? He's yeah. Like, ah, maybe there. I hope so. Yeah, later. I hope so. Yeah. It's Bye. so weird. <laughs> and then I think that's the end of the movie. That's it. It's the movie. <laughs> and, then, and then I think Red Brown goes like way later and they run back to their apartment. <clears throat> yeah. And that's all. I think there's that's a close up of a werewolf transforming. Maybe it I gets think, yeah, superimposed on a yeah. moon. Yeah. And then we get the, the amazing final montage where we see the oh entire God. movie again uh, with because, 17 reveals because the of movie can, like breasts. starts at this point just starts replaying itself and we're like what's what's going on <laughs> yeah. like, and you feel that like credits should be rolling over this as yeah. soon as you yell that out loud with the movie it starts happening yeah Whoa. but then we get the montage of everything else that's happened in the movie again the 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 17 breast reveals yeah uh every um Cut to reaction for it is on there. Some of them were pretty fucking hilarious. <laughs> Michaela, you went upstairs. You shouldn't have. I, because they started to show the orgy again. And I was like, I'm not watching <laughs> this did. again. They come back to that once or yes. twice. Just like, Ugh. But no, it's just like the eyes when they uh, popped out of the one dude's head. Yeah. That was a cut to reaction. Like, okay. The owl was a cut to reaction. Everything yeah. was. It was great. Chris Best really smiling. Yeah, that, was, that was the editor going, look, <laughs> I know what you just sat through, and I know it's fucked up. So here's this. They still Please included that me. orgy shot. That's what this was. They, they, like, they get I'm no sorry. bonus points for recycling footage from me. I'm sorry. Uh, no. But the way they did it, I give them points. 
Well, that is uh, Howling 2, your, your sister. That was a yeah. no no I feel like dehydrated after yeah. doing that. Like like a, I'm, a I'm endurance missing, test. some liquid in my body yeah. that is low now. <laughs> but your question is, should you watch it? Did we like it? We're going to go around the table and let you know what we individually thought of the movie. But first, tough question. we're going to answer some of your mail. And in order to do that, we have to sum, do some of our own summoning uh, yes. of our mailman, mm-hmm. Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Sean just slammed a bat staff on the ground like twice to get Igor summoned. Yeah. Well, that, yeah. Well, that was Igor sitting on top of the staff. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. Waiting to be yeah. rejuvenated. <laughs> well, we should let the good folks at home know how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Sean Freak Show. Or X. At Sad Freak Show. You can't do hand movements without telling me beforehand. <laughs> you, <laughs> you can't. You just the, 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 the DX. The DX. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my entire like, eighth grade year is back to my mind. They can also uh, email us directly. It's on our freak show at yahoo.com. Or you can uh, comment on uh, both Instagram and threads at Saturday Night Freak Show about tonight's movie. Howling 2, Michael Whitaker writes in and says, probably one of the most straightforward titles I've ever heard of for a (laughs) movie. There's definitely no question about the plot, and it also stars Blast Hard Cheese. And at this point, you should just do Space Mutiny. <laughs> I, for, I we cover about, that on I the forgot, last I forgot Brown about the movie. names that, that, yeah. that Mystery Science Theater 3000 gave to him. Yes, every time Blast Hard Cheese? Yes. There were some Such good ones. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe, uh, maybe after I'm done watching all the Howlings, I will watch Red Brown movies with the Mystery Science Theater commentary. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Nice the way to go. I love it. Uh, Jacob Laws writes in and says, Christopher Lee, Werewolf Threesome, Captain America, Orgies. This movie was wild. That's all you have to say. Describe to someone. Uh, Yo Jimbo Ice says, now this is my kind of trash. Yep. Mm, uh, yeah. Amos Martinez says, this is right up there with Exorcist 2 in terms of a what the fuck sequel, but God, do I love it. Captain American <laughs> Dracula versus the Werewolf Queen should have been the title. Yes. Well, right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, actually, then that means that uh, Mike Welch says, is it weird that I consider this a sequel to two films, oh. both The Howling and Captain America 2? Ah, yeah. <laughs> nice. I love it. Uh, nice. Jen Zombie says, ah, the infamous added on tag title of Your Sister is a Werewolf. I remember 12-year-old me being absolutely enthralled by Sybil Danning. The movie was terrible, but she certainly made an impression. Yeah. 17 yeah. impressions. <laughs> yep. Yep. 17 <laughs> impressions. Yep. Uh, Mark Zidane says, wow, is all I can say about this mm-hmm. one. I remember being a kid mm-hmm. and loving the original, so one, one so much, that I saw this thing. <laughs> Apart from the very <laughs> weird plot that kind of diminishes the first movie, the only thing I remember from this is the gratuitous boob shot loop at the end of the credits. Yes. You don't remember the threesome? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the boob loop, Harry threesome. Uh, Travis Legler says, "Fun Hi. fact, Harry threesome." <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Travis Legler says, "Fun fact for those uh, the TV cut version of a movie fans." Oh, he's talking to, uh, to you. Wait, show. what do you say? Well, he says, "For back. all of you, uh, for all those TV cut version of a movie fans." There's yeah. one here. Uh, the re-edited TV version ran 91 minutes and included a new scene before the end credits, plus a brand new end credit sequence in order to replace the topless shots of Sybil Danning in the original's R-rated end sequence. The TV end credits also includes music, whereas the theatrical version is silent. Although the one we saw yeah. had music I, over. Yeah. I don't have to see it to tell you that you shouldn't watch that one. Yeah. Yeah. I version. can't imagine mm-hmm. the TV cut of this. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. no. Uh, Aaron oh. Gilmer says, Howling 2, this time it's dirty. Yes. <laughs> um, this time yeah. it's hairy. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Bill Hainer says, I know this is a terrible film, but I find it so entertaining. You have Reb Brown at his Reb Browniness and Chris <laughs> Lee in his punk outfit, and that song will be stuck in your head for days. I like that it's browniness, not brownness. It's <laughs> beautiful. Uh, Adam Kaler says, Christopher Lee, 80 Shades. 
Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a good oh look. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's That's fantastic. a Halloween costume. I wish that was a that reaction no gift, just that shot of him turning slowly in it. Yeah, Why yeah, is yeah. that not one? I like the way that he <laughs> thanks the guy, kind of, for like, yeah. you know, it's like, you're in this club, but you need to, you know, there's an attire. You got to blend right. in, my dude. Like, yeah. Hey, man, you look cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like, get in you on these this. Shades when, which, which, no, he looks like a cop. On a, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. such a cop yeah. on a day off. Yeah. It's a narc if I ever saw one. Right. And Karate Warrior 2 says, I'm not sure about this one, but I know that I bought about six zillion copies of The Howling 3 on DVD from Bargain Bins because they all had different covers. I couldn't tell the difference until I got home. Oh, no. Oh, well, oh, I guess huh. I'll leave them to some asshole in my will. <laughs> Why do I think yeah, hang on to them forever? <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm some asshole? Don't ever take them to a resale shop. Just hang on to them yeah. forever oh, and yeah, put them in your will. You never know. Uh, last week we watched a movie called X Men. Militime yeah. writes in and says, "Such a different movie from yes. what we watched tonight." <laughs> yes. Very. Um, well, we were saying on that movie that Hugh Jackman was not the original Wolverine. It yeah. was Doug Ray Scott. But Militime says Jackman was the perfect cast, though some things happen. For a reason. Yeah. Seriously, I, I kind of love when Destiny picks the star mm -hmm. like that, yeah. you know? Uh, the week before, we watched a movie called D To Die For, and mm -hmm. O'Lee says, holy shit, I forgot this movie existed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a it's a hidden have. gem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark Harrison says, I remember watching this film when I was far too young and didn't realize it was a comedy. Yeah, I bet yeah, that right? was weird. Yeah. You do yeah. have to be yeah. of a certain age and knowledge to, get. I think, get right. the film. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not for the mm -hmm. young. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you, each of you, for writing oh, in. Well, we you. always, we really appreciate it. Indeed. And now we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought of Howling 2, starting with... How many hairy orgies do you think Igor's had? Michaela! <laughs> <laughs> Answer uh, that question and what you thought of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know is the answer to that question. Oh, man. I mean, I love werewolf movies. I, we've brought a number of them to the show I would say probably the better quality ones we brought to the show. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of one we brought that might be worse than this. I mean, Cursed is, I think, a worse movie and a less enjoyable movie, yeah, too. I'll than this. Yeah. That. Um, oof, that one, yeah. Go listen to that episode for that movie. Mm -hmm. Wes Craven Werewolf movies should be good, but it's not. Um, yeah, I I had never seen this before, and I think that's because I just I don't like the first Howling as much as everybody else does, so I never yeah. went to the sequels. Mm -hmm. But hearing how Little insane they know. get... Yeah, and I'm willing to dive in now. Um, and I do want to rewatch the original and kind of give it like a fresh look. Um, I love werewolf movies even when they're bad. I love them when they're good. It's like pizza, you know. It's always just them nice in to a have. House. I would yeah, watch them with a mouse. yeah. <laughs> it's just they're always nice to have, and we don't get enough of them. And it's like the book, if you give a mouse a cookie, yeah. If you give him a Kayla, werewolf, werewolf, werewolf movie, movie. Yeah, I'll keep going. Yeah. <laughs> she's gonna want to see. Yes, and as harrowing and as that orgy was to watch. <laughs> I still think you should watch this movie because we had a lot of fun watching it. And I do like the creativity they took with the aesthetic where it's like they're like 80s, like kind of hard rock looking, but also they have like medieval weapons and armor. It's yeah. an interesting combination of stuff. Real interesting. Um, and I, I like it. I like that they have like a chosen aesthetic because I feel like a lot of times werewolves get portrayed as like rednecks or grimy or just like kind of backwoodsy. Uh -huh. And these are very like, biker gangs. like yeah, biker <laughs> gangs, which this is this is stepping close into biker gang territory. Yeah. But at least like they're like urban you know, rock star werewolves, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, very 80s werewolves. Very 80s werewolves. And I like the crazy outfits. I like the set design. It's like, it's cheap, but at least it has a style. Like I said, I'm okay with style over substance in some instances. And this is one where I'm okay with it. It's not a good movie. And the, it, the editing is really bad. I like, like I would like someone to re-edit it in a way that mm -hmm. just, it doesn't have to make more sense, but just have it have a better rhythm of, uh, as a movie, yeah. a better flow, you know, because it's really bad in this one. And take out the extraneous scenes, you know. <laughs> I don't movie. know if it's possible. I, know, I don't know if it's possible. I'm okay if it's like 60 oh, minutes. Like if yeah. you, I think if this is literally, if you like took a scene out, everything else would just collapse. <laughs> Not true. Like, no. You have to see them walking for that long. The, oh, the scene true. of Red Brown coming, jump scare, hi, honey, we could take that out. No problem. That. We don't need that we scene. Don't need that. But then yeah. we wouldn't be questioning our sanity. <laughs> yeah. 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 Other things. But um, I, I love it warts and all, though. So I think you. It, it's. I'm surprised it hasn't come to the freak show before this. Given yeah. I didn't know it was this crazy. Didn't yeah, know. So I, I didn't know. Um, Otherwise, I, it would have been on top of the list. Yeah. <laughs> seriously, I think I wrote off all the Howling sequels as just being really straight to DVD mm -hmm. badness. Mm. So I didn't realize this one had. I mean, Red Brown. There, that's all you need to know, right I mean, there, right? I mean, come on. So yeah, definitely recommend it, Sean. What do you think? Man, oh, man. 
Um, would you say that threesome scene was harrowing? Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 I, just I wanna, would. Promise <laughs> 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 reaction alone. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. Um, uh, I mean, like we've all said, uh, I had no idea. I had no idea. Uh, I think Colin's been sitting on this one. I think he's yeah. always known and just wouldn't let on. <laughs> but how dare you? <laughs> how dare you have, how dare you make us sit through 80 Giallo movies in a row <laughs> and not pick this one somewhere in the middle? How dare you, Colin? Um, and in that, I'm going to say that you have to watch this movie. This is wild. This is some wild shit that you just like. You just don't see. Mm-hmm. Um, you're going to question it. You're going to question your sanity. You're going to you're gonna yell. You're gonna yell at this movie. Yep. You're gonna be disgusted yep. by it. You're gonna be fascinated by it. There's so much shit, weird <laughs> shit that just happens, and you're gonna yep. be like, "Why? Uh, 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 a small person's eyes explode at the screen, <laughs> and that's just a small portion of what happens in this craziness. Absolute mm-hmm. craziness. You have to see it to believe it. I recommend The Howling Two. Your sister is a werewolf. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't think you cannot recommend <laughs> after watching this. Mm-hmm. Ah, craziness, Holly. Yeah. Uh, I might love it. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think of this? Yeah, no, I I think for all the things you just said, it, it's I also hate it. You uh, know? Hate, oh yeah, hate it. You know? I hate it, but love it. Yeah, I, I hate it, but I also love it. I can't like I run to see this movie. Like run. <laughs> yeah. It's batshit crazy. It is banana sandwich. This movie's ridiculous. It's so stupid. It's so gross. It's I mean, but it has the prestige of Christopher Lee to balance it out. But it, it has out. Christopher Lee. Like, it just, it makes no sense. Nothing about this movie <laughs> makes sense from the casting to the production to the editing. Nothing makes sense. But God damn it, is it entertaining? It's so much fun. It's absolutely bonkers. It's gory and gross. And I never want to have sex again. <laughs> But God damn it, was it fun? Mm-hmm. You have to watch this movie. You you have to. Like, that's it. You have to. Colin. Did we get the exact opposites of the spectrum? Red Brown. Christopher Lee. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, really seriously. Did. Uh, wow. So what I'm hearing Sorry, Reb, is... I don't mean to I, I think punch of that, you in the face. <laughs> I think of that meme, like, you ruined my life. I don't even know who you are. That is like the spectrum of Reb Brown and Christopher Lee. It's like, yeah, I feel yeah, like, yeah. I feel like if Christopher Lee ever ran into Reb Brown later in life, he was like, who are you? Like, you know, <laughs> oh, well, they've done two movies. So I, I mean, know. Who, I, they can be best buds. I stand for by know. what she said. But how many yeah, movies has Christopher Lee <laughs> done, yeah, you know? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Reb. Yeah, Reb. he would, like... Christopher, Christopher Lee would tell Red Brown stories about working on The, the Howling 2. Yeah. Not realizing yes. that he's he really was in it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Red Brown would just be like, Yeah. A, yes. a great story. Loved it. This was one of those movies where I was like, Red Brown's uh, like, uh, Chris, you were in my wedding. We've been, we've been friends for years. Chris, you officiated it. <laughs> well, I saw uh, The Howling and I really loved it. And uh, I was offended the first time I saw this one because it was like, what the fuck you know when you first see the movie it's oh, yeah. just like you know it's like shitting on the one that you like um it has developed a cult following i think for the reason that you have just heard this is a god awful movie this is <laughs> your, your palate is more refined now <laughs> well yeah i mean but i again, guess you have to know the bottoms <laughs> to enjoy the better ones. yeah yeah so i mean that's why it's like it's a it's it's <laughs> we enjoy the can, bottoms you can recommend it to the Sean right person. Oh, we, uh, I, I just, I just want to say I don't. <laughs> Continue. I'm sorry. Well, um, if you've uh, if you've listened to this show and uh, and, then, and it sounds like a lot of people have already seen this movie, right? Yeah. To appreciate it for what it is, this is like trash cinema. This is somewhere around the the area of like Troll Two, bad. Yes. You know, it's a bad movie. And maybe that's why you need to see it, if you can appreciate it for how bad it is and if you can laugh at it. I think if you go into it, you know, expecting a legitimate movie, it's awful. It's made by, like, people who can't, like, put a movie together. <laughs> it's a train wreck. Who I mean, at least couldn't put it together now. Uh, I mean, again, that editor. Yeah, it's one of those It's one of those weird, like, things that happen with certain movies. They have certain ingredients to them and imagery in them. You know, that somehow magically comes together and forms this stew that like somehow, despite how horribly awful it is, it has like it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And so yeah, this uh, movie, I think, could have been incredibly boring. 
it, it's not boring. It's not. It's but I think. Yeah. I, but I think if it wasn't the way it was, yeah. because of circumstances, I, I mean, it could have been. And yeah. a lot of it just has to do with like cat. I mean, like the acting is horrible. Horrible. <laughs> you know the but the 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 set decorations actually good. It's real good. Um, yeah. some of the effects work is good mm-hmm. mixed in there with bad werewolves. Yeah. Uh, Apes he, running around. Yeah, the costume design is like striking. You know, it's. I don't know. It's a it's a bizarre thing that I guess I would recommend, like you guys said, that you check it out. I feel like I've been on a journey with you folks. Yeah, yeah. same. Yeah. So we'll never go. forget this. Mm-hmm. I no. guess it's, uh, it's we can't. A, yeah. around the table we'll recommend of one of the worst movies that we've <laughs> ever seen. Howling to your sister is a werewolf. Good times. There you go. All right, next week, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by... Sean, I'm sorry. You have to follow that. Yeah, right. yeah I don't know. Really, it's... Uh, I'm fucked either way. So yeah. uh, we will be watching... The Lawnmower Man. Oh, oh wow. boy! Finally, okay. okay. I figure okay. if Finally. I can't do it with something that I don't know about, and you know, I'll, I'll give it to something that's just like we've been wanting to watch this for a while. It's <laughs> a shot. That's a safe play. <laughs> You're right. Oh yeah, good we're job. going back after to the, this. I think yeah, you have to. Yeah. The job, early yeah. days of the internet. <laughs> yes. With the Lawnmower Man, Jeff Fahey, yes. yeah. Jeff Fahey as a a, a special. Human being. Mm-hmm. Oh, there you go. Oh. Job the lawnmower man. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. All Is right. The second one, like Job's Revenge or something. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we will uh, see you then. Until then, the basement is going dark.